All right, let's have a look at how to create an equation of a line that is perpendicular to another one. To find the gradient of perpendicular lines, invert the gradient and change the sign. Just remember perpendicular means at right angles too. So we've got an example here of an equation for a line y equals 2x plus 5. Now from that equation the 2 is the gradient so we change the gradient by inverting it to become a half and changing the sign from plus to minus. Here are some of the equations then when we do that lines that are perpendicular to this one. They all begin with minus a half x and using that form y equals mx plus b. y equals minus a half x plus 3 is perpendicular to that line. y equals minus a half x minus 3. y equals minus a half x my, y equals minus a half x minus 12.5 and y is minus a half x plus 7. All of those lines are perpendicular or at right angles to that one. So here's the steps. Put the equation in the form. If it's not, y equals mx plus b. Invert and change the sign for m. Write the equation with the new gradient with plus b at the end. Sub in the values for the points with plus b at the end. Solve to work out what the new plus b is. Write the new equation. Here's some examples. Find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 2. It has a y-intercept of minus 3. So, it's already in the right form, y equals mx plus b. Then we change the gradient, which is 2, by inverting it to become a half, and change the sign so it becomes minus a half. And we write the equation with the new gradient and plus b at the end, that becomes y equals minus a half x plus b. Sub in the values with plus b at the end, but we don't need to because we've got our y intercept here and we don't need to sum any values, so all we need to do is put minus 3 instead of plus b and we've got our equation. The answer is y equals minus a half x minus 3, which is perpendicular to that one. Next one, perpendicular to y equals 4x and has an x-intercept of minus 3. And just to remind us what the x-intercept means, that's that point there. So x-intercept means the line is going to cross at this point, which has the coordinates negative 3, 0. So there's our coordinates or our, our numbers that we put into the equation. It's already in the right form. We don't have a plus b because it's 0. Invert and change the sign for m. So here's our m, 4. The gradient is 4. So when 4 is inverted, upside down and change the sign becomes minus a quarter. Write the equation with the new gradient, with plus b, y equals minus a quarter, plus b. Sub in the values for the points with plus b at the end. So now instead of y, we put in 0. And instead of x, we put in negative 3 from there, with the plus b at the end. Solve to work out what the new plus b is. So 0 equals, well, a minus a quarter times minus 3 is 3 quarters, plus b. And then when we take 3 quarters across the other side, it becomes minus 3 quarters. So our b is minus 3 quarters. New equation 
with a new gradient and a new plus b, y equals minus a quarter x from here, and minus three quarters from here. Example three. Equation 3x minus y equals 9 passes through the point 6, negative 3. So we have to put the equation into y equals mx plus b, so y is going to be one side by itself, mx plus b. So to do that, I'm going to do two steps in one. I'm going to move the minus y across to this side so it becomes plus y. That's where we get this from. And I'm going to move the 9 across to the other side so it becomes minus 9. That's where we get that from. So the 3x stays. The 9 is moved across to become minus 9 and the y is moved across to there to become y. 3x minus 9 equals y or we could just write it as y equals 3x minus 9. Now we have the right form. Invert and change the sign for m. Where's our m? That's there. 3. 3 inverted and change signs is negative one-third. Write the equation with the new gradient there's y equals negative a third x plus b. Now we sub in the values from a point with plus b at the end so instead of y we put negative three. There it is. Equals minus a third times is x is 6, so minus the third times 6, plus b at the end. Solve to work out what the new plus b is. So negative 3 equals, or minus the third times 6 is minus 2, plus b. And then we add plus 2 to both sides to remove that. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus 2 plus 2 is cancelled equals b. So that's our new plus b. The equation now with the new gradient. So instead of y equals 3x minus 9, we've got y equals minus the third x minus 1. We get the minus the third from inverting and changing the sign and the minus 1 from working what the plus b is.